Okay, now I'm going to try to recharge this smashed in uh, Samsung 30Q 18650 lithium ion cell. I'm going to do really, I'm going to do two stupid things today. I'm going to try to recharge a cell that's obviously damaged. And uh, the other thing is I'm recharging this outside because I'm not going to charge it inside. I don't want to burn the house down. So I'm going to charge this outside, but it's actually quite a bit below freezing today. It's around minus six, minus seven degrees outside uh, Celsius. So you should never recharge lithium ion batteries below freezing. So I'm going to try that too. And we'll see what happens. If uh, At least if this catches fire or something, it's just on concrete, so it shouldn't uh, cause too much problems. It'll destroy my charger, but that's uh, just a cheap one, so I don't really care. All right, so let's start this thing up. I'm hoping it can make contact. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put in some magnets or something like that to get it going. Uh, no, it's not making contact. Wiggle it around a bit. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, so let me uh, try to stick something in the end there so it can make contact with the battery and then I'll start the charging. Okay, with a bit of fiddling, I managed to get this charged properly. I'm gonna move it as far away from the house as I can. Uh, there we go. So this thing is charging now and uh, we'll, I'll leave it there until it goes green and maybe leave it for a little while after that and that'll be a full charge of 4.2 volts and then we'll see what happens with this thing uh, whether it can take both recharge when smashed in and freezing conditions and by the way never do this i'm just curious so and i'm an idiot so yeah there's that all right i'll be back when it's done okay so i removed the battery i was using <clears throat> a little screw here in the end in order to make contact with the positive terminal it isn't a full charge it didn't really read end of charge i don't know if you can see that it's around um 4.14 volts now so it's almost a full charge uh this that's a resting voltage after i took it off the charger for a couple of minutes uh the charger was reading 4.2 that's why i took it off but it never actually indicated it was done charging so looking at the battery it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, cold, well, it's cold to the touch because it is still freezing outside. Um, it did seem to charge up okay. There doesn't seem to be any venting or anything like that that happened. So, um, recharging this damaged battery, not a good idea, especially in the freezing. But it didn't seem to cause any explosions or fires or venting or at all. Now, if I leave this for a while, I don't know, it'll... It, it, I expect it'll just, you know, sit there like it did last time after I bashed it in. So I'm going to try a little bit more of a destructive test. Okay, now I'm going to try a bit more of a destructive test on this battery. Sledgehammer is my destructive test. So I'm going to pretend this flashlight has dropped really hard onto a sledgehammer at force and uh, crushing the top of the battery terminal. So let's just try taking this sledgehammer. I'm going to stand back a little bit. Maybe I'll just drop the sledge. Just see if that's, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a metal on the, it's metal on the top. So I should just be able to drop the sledgehammer onto the cell and see what happens. And I'm going to try to crush it. and see if well, that will cause any sparks. Okay, this is a little more tough than I thought. Let's try it more like this. All right, so it's actually, I'm surprised at how, I'm surprised at how tough the can is. I mean, I have been, I dented the wrap and dented it around the top there, but it's still surviving. So I think trying to smash the can vertically is going to be difficult. So let's smash it with it laying down like this and see what happens. This would be, okay, there's a dent in it. 
let's try another one. Getting ready to run here. Okay, so there's a couple of dents in there now. No signs of smoke. Okay, let's try one more. Let's try one a little bit harder. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, so there's a number of dents in that cell. I don't want to get too close to it. You know, these cells can take quite a beating. I'm going to feel it with my hand briefly <laughs> to see whether it's warm. Uh, doesn't appear to be. But I don't see any signs of smoke. Just trying to smell if there's any thing coming from that battery, but I don't smell anything. Yeah, you know, these 18650s are a lot tougher than I would have thought they'd be. Um, I'm sure if I cut, I've seen like people put nails through them and things like that, and that does cause them to explode. But just general abuse to the can here, without actually puncturing it, doesn't seem to cause it to uh, vent or flame or anything like that. So they do seem to put up with quite a bit of abuse. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sure if I keep pounding on this thing, I would eventually crush the can's layers and, and cause it to go. But you know, I've seen other YouTube videos do that. They're generally looking to to uh, cause it to vent, like by sticking a nail through it or by overcharging it with a 12 volt battery, stuff like that. And I know those things will cause it to explode. But just general abuse to it doesn't seem to cause uh, the battery to vent or explode. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this thing out here, um, see what happens to it, and uh, come back in a couple hours and see if anything's gone on. But it, so far, it just looks like it's gonna sit there and put up with whatever I th whatever I throw at it. Oh well, uh, I guess that's it for now, and I'll leave a comment in the uh, description. Or the or the comment section uh, and let you know if it uh, anything happens to this all right thanks